Dan Olds here, ISC 21 student cluster competition, talking with Team Heidelberg from the University of Heidelberg in Germany. How are you all doing today? Very yeah, good. Thanks. Pretty good. <laughs> Very well. Pretty thanks. Good. Okay. Well, we're going to go around and meet each of you and hear what you did for the team. Let's start with you, Holger. Yes, so I'm Holger. I also participated last year. So I, I basically had already done one of these online competitions. And yeah, that's why I also mostly try to get everything working on the clusters, like the setup, the general setups. And I also worked on WERF, so the weather application, as well as the MetaHipMail 2 one. That's pretty good. How'd you do on WERF? Well, well uh, setting it up was interesting. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, once uh, I got it running, it was pretty stable, I think. So once it's working, it works. Okay. And we can say that about much software. Once it's working, it works. Well, not all of them, but at <laughs> least for web, it's true. Well, good. Uh, Maximilian, how about you? Yeah, so um, this is my first time uh, uh, in the student cluster competition. And I'm not really from the HPC uh, group, so... Uh, in the beginning, I didn't know anything about anything, so uh, I just tried to to get a bit of knowledge from from any, everywhere, and then um, started to work with uh, Falk a bit on GPAR, but uh, didn't have that much input, unfortunately, in, in the most part. Because oh, uh, I just what is your background? Um, so uh, I did my bachelor's in mathematics, and at the moment studying my ma in my master's uh, scientific computing in Heidelberg. Okay. So normally um, I do a lot of optimization and uh, machine learning at the moment, and not so much on on big machines. So uh, with the student cluster competition it was also the first time uh, for me to use a bigger cluster than just a single PC with maybe four GPUs or something. Size does matter, doesn't it? Yes. And yes, it changes it a whole lot. It changes everything. So how about you, Henrik? Yeah, uh, so I've got the same background as Ma Max. Uh, so I also study co scientific computing here at Heidelberg University. And I choose the LAMP stack um, as my kind of playground together with Sanchi. And uh, we tried s s different, different several things. And uh, we're quite happy that we got this uh, program running. Oh, good. What kind of speed up did you get? Ooh, um, Sanchi, can you help me out? Well, we're going to Sanchi next anyway. So Sanchi, okay. take over. Okay, hi. Uh, so I'm Sanchi, and I worked with Henrik on BAMS. And uh, we had better, uh, we had more chance to optimize things on Niagara and not so much on NSCC. So on Niagara, it was pretty uh, good. It was easy because it was CPU only. So it was really easy to uh, get it running. And then we only had to change uh, accelerator packages. And then it was, it was good. It wasn't, it was comparable to um, what we saw in the documentation should have been expected. Okay. For, yeah, so it was good. Okay, so not too bad on that then. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't problematic compared to the other applications. I think LAMS was fairly uh, easy to uh, test. Yeah. Excellent. How about you, Suzanne? Tell us about yourself. I'm Suli. I study technical computer science in my master's, and I was mainly responsible for the coding challenge together ah. with the help of Holger and Henrik. Yeah, that's what I mostly did in the competition. So you were doing the profiling of the applications? Exactly, yeah. How'd that work out? Uh, it was really fun to work with the profiler because the output is really useful also to optimize um, the application that we got, but it was hard to get to know such a large code. It was the first time that I worked with such a lo large project, so it took some time to get familiar with it. Good, but it sounds like it was successful. Yeah, it was, went quite well. Excellent. Falk, how about you? Yes, hi, I'm Falk. I, like Holger, participated already last year in this I remember, competition. I recognize you and your voice, yes. <laughs> Indeed, me too. And, uh, well, I did a little bit on uh, GPO. I'm a mathematician in normal life, and so I'm coming more from the theoretical side, and uh, I try to read up on the workings of the software and the, the background and try to give some input on the possible optimization for this one. Okay. Did the was the team able to turn in something for every task? Yes. Good job. 
Yes, Good. that's an improvement. That, well, yeah, it is actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, and that's the first step towards becoming a much more powerful team. Uh, how does this feel in comparison to the competition last year? About the same, a little tougher, a little easier? What do you think? So I think it's more interesting. So they definitely mm -hmm. learned uh, from last year and also had a little more time to prepare. Like last year, it was originally meant to be in presence, I think. Yeah. So they made it better, like the, the um, task they gave us, they were definitely more geared towards actually working like on a real cluster, but not without, so without the power limit. And also because we had two clusters now, instead of one, you could actually like see differences between them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they use this ability in their tasks. Was it a little bit easier to get on the systems? Because last year that was a difficulty with everybody trying to hit the same system. Uh, well, I mean, for the NSCC, it's the same as last year, except yes. that we already knew what to do to a certain degree because we already did it last year. Yes. The Niagara cluster is relatively easy to get working and was quite nice to work on. So I don't think there were too many problems. For the new students this year, what, what did you expect coming into the competition and were your expectations accurate or not? Well, so basically uh, we started uh, working uh, by uh, drafting a proposal. So the proposal process was just like a real in presentation uh, in presence. Um, competition uh, so it, it was kind of difficult uh, so we got uh, access from the university for the uh, bv4 cluster that was really a, a great opportunity to learn things beforehand and uh, it was really fun connecting to singapore although the delay by typing in is quite uh, quite heavy yeah yeah what about the rest of you any impressions would you do this again I'm actually not new to this. It's my third time participating, but it's the first time um, that I did it online. Um, a little tougher online, would... isn't it? Yeah, it's it's really different because you don't get to see the team members in real life and also not the other teams. The contact was really not as much as it usually was. It was still fun and uh, it was great to have this new experience. This is a challenge for all of us. But I think next time, if I participate, if it's at present and not online. Uh, next year looks to be in person. That's good. So that should be much better. Yes. Um, at least let's hope so. Yeah, it must be. It's going to be in person. Sure it is. <laughs> let's just assume that. Well, I want to thank you for your time. And uh, thank you for competing and spending all of your time doing that. And good luck. Let's hope that uh, this is the year that Heidelberg really starts to move up. Okay. Hope so too. You guys feel good about it? You feel good about what you did? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. We will talk to you again soon.